Job chapter 6. But Job answered and said, now it's Job's turn. Now we're going to start going back and forth, back and forth. Now Eliphaz has been talking for the last two chapters. Oh, that my grief, chapter 3, were thoroughly weighed, and my calamity laid in a balance together. Job is picking up where he left off, minus what Eliphaz. Uh, I'm in pain, I'm in sorrow, I'm suffering. I, you know? Anguish. Trouble, problems, pains. For now it would be heavier, first time that word shows up, than the sand of the sea. Therefore my words are swallowed up. Eliphaz, you didn't hear what I said. You did not hear one word I said. And he's going to rebuke these guys. I mean, just outright rebuke them. For the arrows of the Almighty God are within me. Job's got it wrong. Now Job does not know and Job has not read chapter 1 and 2. Job does not know what happened in heaven. David doesn't realize <clears throat> that the devil made him to move Israel, to count them. David didn't know that God moved him to number Israel. And we do not know either who causes our problems. And there's always three to look at. It, yeah, God may cause it. True. The devil may do it. True. Or we may cause our own problems by our own sins. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that he shall also reap. So even the great Job is falsely accused God. But God has allowed it. Mercy and grace of God would be, okay, leave Job alone. But the mercy and grace of God is, all right, chapter one, leave Job alone. Chapter two, keep him alive. And with the devil attacking Job and us and getting permission from God, he doesn't get the full satisfaction of what he wants to do. Now, as far as the realm of man and our sins, I don't know. And I can only assume that, you know, mercy of God, that we do not go as far in our sins and troubles and miseries that things will allow us. In the realm of alcohol tobacco and illegal drugs i mean they are dangerous to the to the flesh to families to budgets yet still god the mercy and grace the arrows of the almighty are within me but that's what he's i mean that's how much pain he is he's saying it's an arrow in me can you imagine what an arrow would feel like it was inside you now we got those gag you know arrows that you know you put around your head looks like you got an arrow through your head that, this is not the case for joe what can i think about would be describe my pain as an arrow the poison whereof drinketh up my spirit poison death though he wants death it, it, it's making me sick it, it's causing my body to it doesn't want it the terrors of God do set themselves array against me. And remember, Job said, this is what I fear. It, what I fear just come upon me. And Job now say it's terror to him. Job fears is now in terror that it's all gone. Everything. And I'm stricken with pain. And I say, when we get to Job chapter 42... Nowhere does it ever say that the boils disappeared. Now we would like to think it was a happy little story, and that, but that's omitted. And can't say for sure if those, if those boils are gone. Alright, verse 5. And if you were to just read the Bible, you'd say, well, what's the next verse Use this verse is talking about? Does the wild ass bray, that's the first time that word shows up, and that's 
the animal cry of an ass when he hath grass. Or loweth the ox over the fowler. And these are the sounds of the animals. Can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt? No, you need salt for flavor. Or is there any taste in the white of an egg? Now you just eat it and it's black. So, here are things that men complain about. Taste. And, you know, an egg has no taste. And Job is just saying, listen, I have the right to complain, chapter 3. Because Eliphaz has been tackling, who gives you the right, what do, all these words you have to say. Job says, listen, I'm the one in trouble. I'm the one with the problems. You came to me. I'm the one to say what I said, and you know what? Leave me alone. The things that my soul ref refused to touch are as my sorrowful meat. Oh, that I might have my request, that God would grant me the thing that I long for. Death, chapter 3. Even that it would please God to destroy me. Death. That he would lose my hand. And cut me off. Death. Take me out of the world. Now, Elijah, Jonah, wanted death. And God didn't grant it to him. And God gave him, you know, a reward. And God had answered these prayers of these men. The blessings, all that would not have come. If God would answer Job's prayer, God answers every prayer. Have you ever heard that? If he answered Job's prayer, we would not have chapter 7 to 42. Job would not have the resurrection of his children. Job would not have the restoration of all his, his goods. And how, and man does it. Save man, say, Lord God, troubles and problems take my life. And we don't know what the end's going to be. Paul had started churches and they turned on him. He had Christian friends and gained them and grown them and they turned on him. So Job was like, I'm complaining. Leave me alone. And he's going back to exactly what he was complaining about. I want to die. He still wants to die. Eliphaz has two chapters of words to Job and Job has not changed his mind. We'll see about that in a little bit. So, verse 10, then should I yet have comfort. Now look at that, what Job is saying. All right, Lord takes care of me. He, he, he destroys me. He kills me. I'm going to have comfort. <laughs> Job has an idea of his belief in God. He's not going to hell. There's no belief in going to heaven because they didn't go to heaven. They went off to Abraham's bosom. If Abraham's bosom's around. Job is not a Jewish man. Take that for, take that for a fact. He's a Gentile. He will probably be judged at the great white throne judgment. And the books will be open. What do you think what book will be open of all the books for Job? The book of Job. Let's see what Job did. And Job will be found right. So wherever a Gentile went during this period of time after death, it, there was no fear. Job's like, hey, come on, bring it on. It'd be much. Job's saying death will be much better for me than right now. As far as Christians, to be absent from the body, present with the Lord. But even Paul says, says you know, I want to be absent absent from the body of Christ with the Lord, but it's needful for me to be here to help you. And God gives us one more day so we can be a blessing to Him and God can bless us. I would harden myself in sorrow. Let Him, God, not spare. He wants death. For I have not concealed that's the first time that word shows up, and that's interesting. I have not concealed the words of the Holy One. That's God. Remember I told you what Job is? 
Job is the first written book of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy are written in Exodus 20 and on. Deuteronomy is written almost where they're at the brink of crossing the Jordan River before Moses dies. Moses dies, he closes the, the book of Deuteronomy and gives it to the priest and puts it in the altar. I mean the, the Ark of the Covenant. We found out that Eliphaz is the grandson of Esau. We are far away from the children of Esau to Moses. And Job says, I have not concealed the words of the Holy One. A direct revelation by God. So the book of Job is inspired by the Holy One. And God allowed that to be put into our Bible. But God spoke to men before the Bible was written. And Mark chapter 16 says they went out with healing. They went out with, you know, the ability to drink poison. And everybody copies those signs. And yet, you know, not looking at that passage, it's done. Those signs are done for two reasons. Jews require a sign. And number two, the Bible was not complete yet. And there are no, well, there, I shouldn't say there's not, but there is no mandatory signs and miracles brought about in the church age because we have the 66 books that God's given us. And when we look at Job, a man, a judge in a gate, guess what? He spoke the word of God, though it was not printed. So there are tons and tons and tons of words of God and man and man of God that are not recorded in the Bible. We have words that we spoke to save people or words we spoke to unsaved people. They're not recorded in the Bible, yet it's the honor and glory of God. And that's very important that there are words here even before the Bible is written. What is my strength? Okay, good question. That I should hope. Oh God. And what is my end? That I should prolong my life. We know the end of Job. Job does not know the end of Job. And Job said, what's, what's the work going on living? Well, you're going to get your children back. Job doesn't know that. You're going to get your riches back. Job don't know that. And we do not have that promise of the prosperity gospel that everything is going to work to the end. When Paul came to the end of his life, he said, bring me a few of the parchments and a couple other things, that's it. And yet, look at the great riches he'll get in glory. I mean, we don't have everything that's going to work great and work wonderful as Christians. Is not my help in me? No. You're not doing a good job if it's in you, Joe. Is wisdom driven quite from me? The wisdom, how to take care of what, I'm, what the situation I'm in. Yeah. Uh, in, strength, in strength of stones. Or is it my flesh and bread? The hard substance. Those are very hard substances. It's not my help in me. No, it's not. And the wisdom drive driven quite from me. I, what do I know? How can I apply what I know? Job don't know. And the three friends of Job don't know either. To him that is afflicted, pity should be shown from his friend Eliphaz. After two chapters, Job speaks and says, You know what? You should give me some little pity here. A little pity. People say, oh, I don't give no pity. Job said, should give me a little pity. But he forsaketh the fear of the Almighty. That's only fast. Everything you said in chapter 4 and chapter 5, <coughs> you don't fear God. If you fear God, you would not have said what you said. Those are harsh words. Chapter 15 to 19. My brethren... The three men have dwelt had dealt deceitfully 
You know, I mean, not how you ought to talk. As a brook, and as a strength of a, as a stream of brook, they pass away. Rivers dry up. Certain seasons, which are blackish. Only time that word shows by reason of ice. There's black ice. There's only time. First time ice shows up. Where in the snow is hid. So here's a river. You come to a stream. Oh, I want a drink of water. Ah, it's dried up. I mean, they didn't have running water back then. They didn't have a faucet. They didn't have a fountain. And then they go out. Oh man, get a drink of water, and they come up. It's frozen. And it may be frozen solid. And black ice, you look into it, you don't see water, you just see ice. Or, you know, it's a snow-covered field, and the snow is covering where the, where the water should be. That's what he's describing his friends are, to see. I know there was a river there, but where is it? And I sure can't get nothing from it. Oh, Joe. I can't get nothing from you guys. You're supposed to come here and help me, and I ain't getting it. Now, who's the water of life? Jesus Christ. That's the one who you go to. What time they wax warm, the weather, and vanish. Evaporation dries up. <clears throat> when it's hot, they are consumed out of their place. It dries up. River pitch dry, no water. The troops of Tima looked the company of Sheba waited for them. The water. Here comes troops of people. They want a fresh water. They, they know that the water is there. And maybe it tastes good. Maybe it has a particular taste. And they show up. It's dried up. It's frozen. You're not going to drink the mud. And you sure, you know, you maybe you can chop the ice. They have confounded. They, are, they were confounded because they had hope. Oh, I want to drink. Job wanted hope from these men. They came thither and were ashamed. <laughs> and by the time we get to Job chapter 42, these men are made ashamed. They got to offer up an offering that Job has to do for God, for them. For now, ye, ye, not just Eliphaz, all three of them. So it makes you wonder that if there's been conversations that have not been recorded. Or maybe Eliphaz is talking, chapter 4 and 5, and they may be throwing a few words in there. And we'll see that later. Lord Terry. Or shaking their head in agreement. Shaking their head, making eyeball movements, or, you know, throwing, what are you talking about, you know? Something more going on. To, and if you had a conversation with a group of people, you know. You can tell by the reaction. But Job is saying, hey, I want a good drink of water. And that good drink of water only comes from Jesus. These guys, he says, you deceived me. And James said, what, what, can, can, can a fountain, good fountain, bring forth salt water? You don't want salt water. That's the worst thing you, uh, you can ever do. I've done that. I, I've been on a boat before, and, and we're out there. And it's like, oh, I'm thirsty. And I go over and grab a bucket and just get it water. And it's uh, stop. Ugh. That's gross. Nothing worse than satisfying if you want to drink a water and you find out it's salt water. For now, ye are nothing. <laughs> I think Job is cruel and I think the Bible makes it be cruel. You are to tell men the truth. Ye see my casting down. How do they see it? Look at him. They couldn't even recognize him. The the, the 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 boils are popping, oozing, goozing. He's scraping himself. There's agony, there's moaning, there's groaning. There's no family. Are anyway, we're casting on and are afraid. Whoa. Is that what God can do to you? God can be how can you open up your big mouth then? He already told you, you're not afraid of the Almighty. 
You're just afraid in the condition I am in. Broke, busted, and in, in a medical concern. They don't want to end up like Job. He already said, you don't fear the Almighty. Did I say, bring unto me, or give reward for me, for your substance? Did I ask for anything? <clears throat> or deliver me from the enemy's hand? Did I ask you to help me? Did I ask you to, you know, redeem me from the hand of the, of the mighty? Did I ask you to deliver? You're unable to deliver me. I am unable to deliver myself. What is my strength that I should hope? What is my end? I should prolong my day. What is my strength? What strength is stone's pleasure? I can't do it. You can't do it. That's like when you when you tell somebody, you know, you got a condition and somebody in the group, oh, I know how to take care of it. You you take this essential oil, you take this, you take Shut up. Teach me. Now that's a request. I didn't I didn't ask you to deliver me. I didn't ask for the redemption. I didn't ask for reward. I didn't ask you. I want you guys to teach me. I want you to show me why I am in the position I am in right now. Without blaming. Don't say it's because of me. Don't say it because of me. I want you to tell me right off the bat what is my problem. Teach me. I will hold my tongue. I will shut up and listen to you. If you're going to give me words of wisdom, I'll hush and I'll listen to you. And it won't be words of wisdom because uh, uh, just as I said, it came off my tongue. The, the fourth friend there and God will rebuke these three men. I will hold my tongue. I, I will listen. I am seeking wisdom and cause me to understand wherein I have erred. I will listen. Now, in the church age, if you were to get somebody, you're dealing with them with the gospel, and they say, well, listen, show me where I've sinned. Show me where God is angry with me. And they're willing to listen. They're willing to adhere. Man, you got a prospect of someone getting saved. Job does not want to stay in the condition he's in. Now, we have broken away from Job wanting to die. Maybe he thought about it. And he turns around and he says, listen, you know what? Maybe it's not so good. Maybe you just show me where I'm wrong and I can get right with God. You see that change? How forcible, the only time that word shows up, are right words. He's talking to Eliphaz. <laughs> Those were not right words, brother. He's rebuking him. But what does your arguing? Now, who is arguing? Got to be more going on than what we've already read. Got to be. Your. Unless the, the conduct and the attitude of Eliphaz talking is. He's arguing with Job and what Job said. And Job said, listen, I just want to die if I had it. I mean, so much problem. And, and Eliphaz speaks up and his attitude and his demeanor is he's arguing with Job. That's not need for an argument. Job, you did this. Your family did that. Your sons did that. You do this. If you do that, no, Job, man, wow, you know, you are in a bad predicament. Just keep on, you know, let it all out. Just let it all out. Get it all out. Get it off your chest, Job. But Job got arguing what does your arguing reprove? How did it help me? How did chapter 3, I mean 4 and 5 help me? It didn't. Job chapter 6, he's, I want to kill her. I want to be dead. I want God. He had not changed. And as Job is talking and rebuking Eliphaz, he turns around and says, well, maybe, you know, if you guys did help me. And if I can get right with God. Job is now listening to himself. Do you imagine to reprove words? 
and the speeches of one that is desperate. First time that word shows up. Which are as wind. You windbags. Right? We used to be said in my time. You're just a windbag. Blah, 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 blah. And it ain't helping. It ain't helping. Yay. He overwhelmed. That's the only time that word shows up. The fatherless. So this is in their history. There have been people that came to Eliphaz for comfort and for judgment and for help. And you didn't help them. How dare you come to me? It is not in your character and it is not in your history of ever helping anybody. Ye overwhelmed the fatherless. And ye dig a pit for your friend. <laughs> I want Job to talk about himself. Or maybe someone else. You didn't help nobody. Or you didn't help nobody and you're not helping me. Now, therefore, be content. That means be happy where you are. This is a man that just lost everything. This is a man sitting with boils. He's scraping himself. He's in pain. And he's telling the person to talk to him, you be content. Job, you're not content. Because you want to die. But then again, he's coming around. Look upon me. Could you bear it without getting sick? Is it so gross? For it is evident, only time, uh, first time that word shows up, here's your evidence. Unto, it be evident for it is evident unto you if I lie. That's kind of interesting because this guy is a puddle of goo. He's a mass pile of, of boils. Thou therefore be content, look upon me, for it is evident unto you if I lie. Listen to me, look at me. There's still the facial and the countenance of Job that if you're telling the truth or you're not telling, and you can tell people who are lying. You just look at them. They get shifty. They get Their eyes are not looking straight ahead and, you know, the blushing and all that. Return. I pray you, let it not be iniquity for Eliphaz. Yea, return again. Repent. That's what he's telling them. That's what repent means. Turn again. <coughs> he is telling Eliphaz, repent. Return, I pray you, let it not be iniquity. Yea, return again. My righteousness is in it. Job's saying, I'm right. You're wrong. Eliphaz, you need to repent. I need to be shown what the problem is. But Eliphaz, what you just said, repent. And God's going to back up Job later on in the end of the book. Yeah, you need to repent. Is there iniquity in my tongue? Have I sinned with my mouth? James said yes. We all have, Job. We've all sinned with the mouth, Job. You see how God's now working with Job with his own? Job is starting to re reveal in himself. You know what? I'm not as good as I thought I was. Cannot my taste discern perverse things? Do I not have the moral character and eschew evil and perfect in the mouth of God and the mouth of Satan and the Holy Spirit recording to it? Job, to myself, can I not? Yeah, you know what? Job is like, yeah, something's wrong here. Outside of Eliphaz, Job is like, there's a problem here. Job is starting to, I'm a sinner. This may be because of my sins. And we still got many chapters left. 